Back row, Mr. Remote, the world permit, Mr. Mark, coming back at you live and direct. So the coronavirus environment continues. Um, the war of Cold War continues. And the unmasking is getting close. So desperation, we, we, we're in the time of desperation. So we hear the story of the Army Vet 37 who railed against face masks, dies of COVID-19. So Ohio veteran Richard Rose III, 37. We know 37 can be three times seven, which is 21. Three plus seven is 10. We also break it down a little bit more in a second. Passed away from complications related to the novel coronavirus. According to an obituary shared online, Rose passed away on July 4th. We're going we're gonna to keep that just three days after being diagnosed with the virus. Okay, so he, they're saying he, he died in three days. On April 28th, Rose shared a Facebook post where he said he was not buying a effing mask. Okay, so let's hold on to that. And we're going to do some numbers today. All right. Build up a couple of more ciphers. Okay. Grab a couple of ciphers out of here. And that. because they wanted us to see this. All right, so we had talked a lot about mass, the meaning of the mass. We'll go a little bit more into that, but we're really going to do a good breakdown of mass. So inside of the story, they say he he stated that on April, April 28th, and I'm going to do the, the numbers with that, say that he would not wear a fucking mask. So fucking mask is 115. See if we got some additional numbers here. Uh, 43. 43 is 12, the number of completion. 43 is also 14 or 41, which is 13, the number of change. 52, the number of proce prophecy. Um, 65, which could be 56. That means something because, remember, if I'm correct, So coronavirus is 56 and 65. So that's why they chose fucking mask because that ties in the story. 70 coronavirus is 74. So fucking mask, 115, 43, 52, 61, which is a God number, 141. So right. And quick vibration with coronavirus. So that's why fucking mask and coronavirus went together. See how the energies vibrated to create the story. So most of these stories are created. They're creating these stories as they go along. Remember now we got the big debate about do masks work, do they not work? So it's not really about the mask, but what the mask represents. Okay, what the mask represents. All right, so mass is 44. Kill is 44. See how those two words vibrate? Mask and kill. So they want a mask to protect you, but mask vibrates with kill. Remember now, in the summertime, people are wearing these masks, standing in long lines. You can't breathe. Uh, I wonder the the, uh, the number of heat strokes and heart attacks we're going to have in this little bit of period. But it goes deeper than that. Um, mask is eight. Remember eight. We're talking about eight when we deal with time. Mask is 17, which is kill. 26 is the God number. Also 12, completion. 70. Mass is uh, 70, 87. Remember, we just did a piece on 87. 28. Okay, 90, 127, 14. Mask is also 14. Mask is 14. So, seeing how, that, seeing how things are breaking down. Okay. Richard Rose, we also broke down. Richard Rose is 73. 73 is 37 in reverse. That's 10 and 21. See how they just gave you... Him dying at 37 when Richard Rose vibrates with, with 37. It's also 71. 71, of course, vibrates. Uh, we said 71. 
Yeah, a bunch of vibration. We'll, we'll look at that again. But 71 vibrates with is 17 in reverse. So it was kill in reverse. And I thought we saw 71 earlier, but we go there. We saw 61. But 71 could be 17 in reverse. 80, 98 is Richard Rose. 68. And 113. Okay, so kill is 44. Mask is 44. Those are two things about mask and uh, and and kill is the vibration. 41 to 13 prime number. We talked about 14 just being 41 is all it is. And there's something else I saw in this. So something else I saw in the story. And I want to say it came from Okay, and of course they take the word Richard. Richard is 43. There's a society name. 47. Foundation. And like I say, it's a big push for these masks. Richard is 71. Okay, see how they do it? And I think I missed the cipher. That's what it was. Got that one. Got that one. And got Kabbalah. Okay, I got all my cipher, so making sure i got all my ciphers but it was something else i was breaking down in that story and i forgot exactly what it was which it rose and i saw it and i don't know what i had to do so Got mask and I shorted mask. That what it was. So M A S K with the S. Okay, that's one of my. But even with mask with the S, it's still seventy three, which is um thirty seven in reverse. So kind of how they do it, how they create these stories. But you know, these stories still have to, of course. As we talk about it, the stories still have to tie into the numerology. They have to tie into the numerology. So, time you're dealing with these stories, as we said, and we're going to look at this in several ways because they gave you a lot of info in this story. So, this story came out 718. 718 is 65. And let's make sure that our date for this story. Well, actually, the story came out July 16th. That's the day they give us the story, so let's take what they give us. 16, so 16 is 63, which is uh, 18, 27, 18, 43. We saw a lot of 43, 16, 198 day of the year, 168 days left, 23, 54, 25, 34, 160, and 84. So 63 is 18, we know that. Right, 63. And before we even go any farther, 37 is 12. And we talk about the number of completion. 37 is 12. So that's one thing about 37 and why they use 37. So 63rd, they could be also be seen as 167. So you know, make sure you put those numbers in to look. Okay, 167 is 39. 39, of course, is the New York number. In reverse, 93, Saturn, the keeper of, keeper of time. Okay, so that's 39. 167 is 39. Okay, 63, 18. 66 times three at the top, 18. 18s, 43 in there, 12. Completion, 37 is 12. It all has to tie into the numerology. So anything they do, any ritual, any story is a ritual all going back to that mask so coronavirus fucking mask kill um uh mass 44 and then richard rose that whole breakdown on richard rose okay so that's what it was so richard rose if you look richard rose and frank is frank francis bacon is 144 remember that takes us back to the hunt for the 144 the hunt is not over that's why this virus has been created 
So a way to kind of expose the 144 or get rid of the 144. We see death of, of firstborn children. So biblical ways of kind of eliminating people we're seeing. A lot of children talking about either coming up missing or coming up dead. So we, we pull that out of scripture. Remember the, the, the murdering of firstborn children. Just fear that that might be that seed of the 144. So they don't know who the 144 is. So the mass. So they have to unmask the 144. Kind of the mass. Mass. Kill the 144. So the mass is the thing. Kill the 144. Richard Rose represents the 144. Kill the 144. They're still on the hunt. And they're getting more and more desperate to destroy the 144. So that's why we have a lot of these stories about uh, young kids uh, still, still unborn and dying. A lot of that. And then with that vaccine, we still are moving toward that vaccine. And I really believe it's going to be this push to get everybody to take that vaccine early. And a lot of African-Americans probably going to run to take that vaccine and get their children that vaccine, which, you know, is all an attempt to kind of explode or wipe out whatever, whoever, wherever the 144 might be. We're talking about all over the world. Wipe out as many people as you can. And they use the number 23 million for that for that specific reason. 23 is a society number. So. We'll take the number 23. And remember the number 23 with Jim Carrey? The Jim Carrey movie? All right, so biblical terms. We're talking about biblical terms, the meaning of, the, of numbers. The number 23 derives part of its meaning from the fact that Adam and Eve produced 23 daughters according to the first century. We're talking about the 23 daughters of Adam and Eve, so the mothers, uh, 23 mothers, 23 mothers, so 23 million people. So wipe out 23 million people. Tola served as judge of Israel for a total of 23 years. So everything is done in 23, utilizing the number 23. Okay, so that's why they kind of use that number. If you throw 23 into the calculator, 23 is 9, so that ninth prime number. That's why 23, 369. So in threes, they use the number 23. So, you know, anything they do has to tie into numerology, must tie into the zodiac, and must tie into the scriptures, the holy books. So my previous video, if you watch my video on the canon, you know, I talk about if you're gonna if you're gonna be about the book, be about the holy book. I'm not gonna, you know, BS you with just, you know, you know, garbage that someone, you know, threw together here and there. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit you with fact. Fact that you can go read yourself. So we always wanna use fact, and that's what they use. They go out of their holy book to put these stories together because they believe that one forty four, those children of Israel those, those, those descendants of Abraham are coming. They believe that they exist. They believe that these, 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 these individuals are, are going to have the, the blessing of the supreme and be able to eliminate people. And this is, this is a fear. Everything they get comes out of scripture. It comes out of scripture and remember that. So we talk a lot about that. So that's a lot of that ties into that story of the army vet who railed against face masks. So of course, you know, Got to get rid of the 144. The 144 are killers. The 144 are killers. They got to get rid of them. They don't know who they are. They don't know where they are. And they're not supposed to know. When they're activated, you're going to know. You're going to know. Okay. Somebody had brought this up, and I'm going to do this real quick before we get out of here. So, a lot of people say a CERN. Well, Mark, I put CERN in the machine. I get 20 and 40. What is CERN? Okay. So, CERN. CERN. CERN is the European Organization for Nuclear Research. It's one of the world's largest and most respected centers for scientific research. That's what CERN is. That's why we use the term CERN. What is CERN um, known for? Hadron colliders, of course. Hadron colliders are those, those um, machines that can open portals. So I had called a story about a Hadron collider. They were making a new one. It was another story about Hadron Colliders. I want to see if this is the one that I kind of peeped that day. And 
that's the magnet store so that's not the one I'm looking for that was the magnet okay but it's a story that you know I want everybody to read Okay, so this was one of the stories I caught about the Hadron Collider that could shrink Earth into a hyper-dense ball the size of a soccer field. So why would anybody want to do this? So a respected cosmetologist is warned about the dangerous threats posed by particle accelerants. Remember now, opening portals. Particle accelerants search as CERNs like Hadron Colliders smash particles into each other at extremely high speed to test theories relating to particle physics, find unsolved questions in physics, and discover new particles. If you talk about particles, talk about dark matter, everything you need to open portals. Portals are key ingredients inside of time travel. You watch dark, that's what we're talking about. Creating those Hadron, Hadron Colliders, time travel. You watch the 100, how they are manipulating time. Time and space in, in the 100. They, that, that Hadron Collider can take you from one planet to another. So they're actually doing that. This is what CERN is. The CERN is. CERN is that particle accelerator used for things like that. If you um, watch um, Stranger, uh, Stranger Things, that's what that is. That's a Hadron Collider. They use that to open up that black hole in the, the dimensional portal that the young girl goes into. This is what they do. This is what CERN does. The, these things actually exist. So the thing that they love to do is put things on TV basically to make you believe that they aren't real. Yet you can go read for yourself that these things are real and they are doing this. But we get so caught up in, oh, that's just fantasy. That's fiction. Yet they'll tell them themselves. Remember, they always talk about deja vu. Deja vu is time manipulation. Have they already begun to manipulate time? I watched The Addams Family where they talked about um, pink being the color of our sons. And I know um, Brother Guy, he talks about that all the time and he talks about colors. The film, The Addams Family, is a children's film where they say pink is the color of CERN. So they're giving you this information. They can't, they can't help themselves. They have to. It's kind of like, you know, it's kind of they're mocking us in a way. But they mock us because they know we're not going to do our own research. It's just like with this coronavirus environment environment i hear people that take so much from these made up news stories because they don't know how to break these stories down and what we're teaching today is how to break these stories down and how to continuously break these stories down so you know any story can be broke broke down if you if you have the science to be able to do it uh chaos maybe we talk about chaos is 19 that's why they use COVID 19 26 44 chaos is also 44 Chaos is 35 and 28. So remember, they talked about April 28th in this story. And that's one last thing I'm going to do before I let you guys and girls go. So we talk about April 28th. Four, two, eight. 20 is when he made a statement about the fucking mast. And he made a statement about the mast on that day. So from Tuesday, April 28th to Thursday, July 16th, that was two months and 18 days or a difference of 79 days. So seven times nine, uh, first you can do 79, 97. Seven times eight is 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72. It's 70, um, seven times nine is 73. I mean, uh, 63. So that's 63. I'm talking about 73. So 63. Today is a date with 63 numerology. So you see how they do it. It has to tie in. It has to tie in. It has to make sense. You got to think about it like that. You got to think about it like that. Because if you're not thinking about it like that, then you will never catch how they tie these stories in and the deeper meaning of these stories. So uh, one thing about it, he does, he, he waits and puts it all together and shows you the actual ritual and the contents of the ritual. And the ritual has never stopped. Is continuing. I just add in the other piece, which is a Hadron Collider, as they continue to try to 
crush particles together to open up dimensions and open up portals. Now, they're still trying to bring something here. They're afraid. They need backup. In their mind, they need backup for what's going to come. All the other stuff is really a smoke screen for what they're trying to do with, with, with this, this particle acceleration program. So these people are, are, are afraid. This is the elite working together. It's not one religious group. It's the elite working together. That's a mixture of various things that go into this, this, this recipe for destruction, as I like to call them. And they don't care who they destroy or what they destroy to get their point across. So, you know, we continue to educate that, you know, the 144 in the, in the, in the scripture do exist. The 144 will be activated. Those are the children of Shem, those, those individuals that have been chosen. And soon they will be reactivated. And we just have to wait on that time. And only the Creator knows when that time is going to come. So, you know, that is my um, lesson for the day. But just continue to study. When you, when, you look at a, when you look at a story, break that story down. Take care of yourself. And, you know, don't just get caught up in all these news feeds about masks and all that stuff. Because, you know, honestly, if this thing were airborne, we wouldn't be outside. We wouldn't be going to stores. They wouldn't allow you to do that. They're not trying to kill themselves. Best believe that. So if it was just as simple as put on a mask to stop a deadly virus, you know, they'll be doing that all over the world for every virus that, that, um, that we come in contact with. And it's not that simple. You just can't put on a mask and think you're going to be all right takes a lot and it takes taking care of your immune system is one of those big parts so you can't be smoking smoking like a chimney and drinking like a fish and doing all sorts of illicit substances thinking that you're going to be all right feeding your food your children all sorts of garbage thinking that they're going to be all right now immune system is going to be all right detox your children out detox yourself take care of your bodies take care of your bodies that's all you really have to do. Take care of your immune system. Take care of your body. It's a lot of um, diseases we do fall prey to. But, you know, for the majority, the most part of some of this stuff, we can fight them off if we take care of our bodies. It's the Mocky Peace and Increase. Be safe. Uh, be in.